In this episode of Slickworks, I'm going to be repairing the family's wake boat. Here she be, the finest vessel to grace BC waters. It's called the Bat Boat, in case you couldn't figure that out. And I am looking for a little chip. Oh, that little guy? That little guy right there? Oh, easy peasy. We can deal with that little guy. It's unfortunate it's right on his body line, so that's going to take a little bit of little bit of finesse with a sanding block but I could fix that up no problem so here's the story of how this little number came to be so we went out for a beautiful day on the river you know wake surfing whatnot and then uh, after the interior of the boat was a little bit dusty a little dirty so my brother he took it to the uh, the car wash and cleaned it all up boat looked beautiful Hops back in his truck, starts to pull out until this guy right here. What would you call that? A guide? A bumper? I don't know. Boat people? Comment below. Let me know what that's called. Anyways, that guy decided to grab the, you know, the power washing wand, grab the hose coming off the wand, and it stretched and stretched and stretched until slap the side of the boat. And then James comes out and he checks it out and he's like, bah! anyways, it's here. I'm gonna fix it. Supplies to fix it, obviously you'll be charging costs. Probably a steeply slashed shop rate also as it is family and, and it's an accident, it's the family boat. So let's get this thing started. Okay, so step one in, in this repair here is I'm gonna spray some wax or grease remover on a rag and clean off this whole area just in case there's any wax or contaminants. I don't really wanna grind that in or just have that around the repair area because we want your best case Ontario when it comes to adhesion and don't want any of the products that we'll be using to repair this chip to cause any sort of delamination in the future. So the reason why we're going to want to spray the wax and grease remover onto a rag and then wipe the area is because if we spray it directly on here, there is open fiberglass showing there and fiberglass, it's like, like you think of it like a candle wick. You spray any liquid on there, it'll wick it into it. So who knows how far that'll go on the inside, but it promotes rot with fiberglass. You don't want to have bare fiberglass uh, like without a barrier of say like resin. So I can actually see the fibers of the fiberglass sticking out. So I'm gonna clean it around the outside, be sure not to get any liquids in there. And then I'm gonna take my carbide bit and V it out 20 degrees. So the chip area, I'm gonna get it V'd nice and flat, 20 degrees out around the outside and give it a lot of tooth for the new gel coat to bite into. So I've got this Amazon special gel coat. Um, looks like good stuff. Uh, you can get pretty much everything off of Amazon these days. So it looks like I have enough to, to fill in the whole scratch. I got this whole big jar, right? So tonight the goal is to just seal it off, 
and then so it won't let any moisture in and kind of start building it up, but we're not really even caring about that yet. Yet, uh, of course, when we do the final finish, we have to make sure that there's zero bubbles in the gel coat and whatnot. But I'm gonna start by putting a little bit of a bill on it tonight. Uh, never use this stuff, so I'm gonna see how long it takes for it to harden up and flash and see how much work time I have with it tomorrow. Because this weekend I have a car show coming up. So this thing has got to get done like basically tomorrow. Has to get done tomorrow. And out, polished, done, waxed, take it away. Dude, I just noticed this, check this out triple disc brakes on both sides. That's pretty cool. Here's a tip for you guys. If you've never worked with a product before and you're unfamiliar with the flash times or cure times, just go like that. Now you know, check it, check back 20 minutes, 15 minutes, you know, you can feel it. Once it starts to feel firm and warm, because it will get warm, uh, then you're good to go back. If you know that it's not going to change shape, go ahead, peel the tape off, let it cure overnight. It's a new day, and as you can see, I've got most of my build up, so on the underside, it's perfect, good enough to work with. Top side, still a little bit of a dip, so I'm gonna sand it out a little bit of uh, 180, maybe some 240, probably 240, make my life easier later on. And then, uh, yeah, fill it back up, round two. Well, as you can see, the repair area is growing and growing and growing as I gotta use more room to block it flat. But we're starting to get the right shape here. Uh, I'm just gonna give it one more skim. I just think it needs one more little bit of build. Uh, even though the gel coat is super thick, so I could sand into the gel coat, but I think I'm gonna give the repair area just one more build. Just bring it up a little bit more before I start blocking it out for uh, wet sand and polish. You guys want to see something funny? So in this kit, they give you this little little postage stamp of 600 grit and this little sachet, little sachet of uh, polish. I think we're gonna need a little bit more than just this. Tiny little air bubble in there, that won't do. So I just mixed up a little bit more gel coat. We're just gonna apply it with a razor blade. Nice little thin skim on there. So now let it cure, back to 320 grit. <laughs> Okay, everybody, so my repairs are just sitting up in wax right now. 
waiting for that to cure. My brother's on his way out to come pick up the boat. Let's talk pros and cons about this gel coat stuff. So the pros, it's easy to work with, it's easy to sand. Um, it's a decent repair product. The cons, pinholes. This stuff is just filled with pinholes. I had to go back and you know fill in little sections. Even now, um, I've just waxed it and I know that once I wipe the wax off of it, there's gonna be little white dots in it. So I really don't like that stuff. Another con about it, the cost like $70 for just that teeny tiny little thing. Pretty, uh, pretty crazy, but it is what it is. The boat looks great. I'll show you guys the repair uh, once I wipe the wax off it in about five, 10 minutes. Uh, yeah, it looks good. I'm happy with it. So here's the repair. Try to get a focus on here. So here's the repair. The color is close, but not perfect. And of course, right up close, like I mentioned, you can see these little tiny tiny little white dots in it right that's unfortunate but from this angle reflections pretty well perfect you know of course those pinholes there's a few that I tried to fill up that didn't quite fill up right but reflections look really good yep I'm happy with it chips gone Looks all right. And there it goes. Another satisfied Slickworks customer. And as always, if you guys liked what you saw and got any sort of value from it, comment below, like, Hit the subscribe button, most importantly. It's like 97% of my views are from non-subscribers. If you hit that subscribe button, I would greatly appreciate that.